these are the last two named reactions in the textbook. So Sandmeyer and Gatterman reaction, both of these have to do with diazonium salts. We learn about Sandmeyer's reaction even in the first, I mean, in haloalkanes and haloidines, that's chapter 10. So basically, freshly prepared diazonium salt solution is, is treated with cuprous chloride or cuprous bromide dissolved in the corresponding halogen acids. So cuprous chloride, CO2Cl2 or cuprous bromide. So if it's cuprous chloride, the corresponding acid would be HCl. If it's cuprous bromide, it would be HBr. So what happens is the diazonium uh, salt, the diazonium part that, that's N2 plus X minus gets replaced by the halogen atom. So here, let's take the example of a diazonium salt N2 plus X minus. So this is going to react with first, in the first case, it's reacting with Cu2Cl2 in HCl because that's the corresponding halogen acid. So what happens is the diazonium gets replaced, the diazonium, the N2X gets replaced by a, with a chlorine atom. And if the same reaction, Cu2Br2, that is cuprous bromide and HBr, then obviously it will be replaced by a bromine atom. And the last one is we are taking CuCN in the presence of KCN to replace the diazonium with CN cyanide. So basically Cu2Cl2 in the, I mean the Cu2 x cuprous chloride, cuprous halide in the corresponding halogen acid, that's cuprous chloride or bromide, in the corresponding acid leads to the formation of a haloerene. Gatterman reaction is similar to Sandman's reaction. The reason being the product and the reactant are same in both the cases, but the reagent used is different. In Gatterman reaction, we will be using copper in the corresponding halogen acid. Here we are using the copper, we are using cuprous chloride, right? But in the Gatterman's case, we are going to be using just copper with an acid. So, let's, so here you have a diazonium salt. Don't learn these two reactions separately, learn them together. So, copper in HCl. So, the N2X gets replaced by chlorine. If the same reaction takes place in the presence of Cu and HBr. N2X gets replaced by Br, bromine. The third case gets, oh, in this reaction, it's only these two. So, so here the copper powder is in the presence of the corresponding or in, in the presence of a particular acid, halogen acid, leads to the formation of the corresponding haloarene. So that's the main difference between these two. So here you have Cu2Cl2 and HCl. In this case, you have copper and HCl. So it was noticed that the yield of Sandmeyer reaction is actually better than Gatterman reaction. Remember, don't confuse it with Gatterman coach. That is an entirely different reaction that you already, I mean, I think there's, I mean, there's a video about that. Um, in, I think, I don't know, uh, yeah, Gatterman coach is in the synthesis of aldehydes or benzaldehyde rather. So that's completely different from this one. So both of these involve the diazonium salt reacting with copper chlor cuprous chloride in HCl in case of Stanmere and copper in HCl or HPR in case of Gatterman. With that, we're done with all the named reactions in your textbook that I know of. If there, is, if there is something that I have missed out in this playlist, do comment it below and I will add the video. In the next video, we will be, I'll be basically doing accumulation of all the named reactions that we've learned up until now, right? From the first one that is, okay, Finkel, Finkelstein reaction to Gatterman reaction, all of them in brief, in deep, I mean, in brief and I'll also try and make a small notebook material sort of thing for that so it's easier for you to have it so you can just print it out and basically look at it every day the moment you do that or if you listen to the video also 
it should help you learn and remember all these reactions. So in the next video, we'll be doing accumulation of all the reactions. Do check it out.